Brad, we've got some thunderstorms moving our way. Yeah, I got a little bit of a boundary kind of sliding through here. Nice computer. That's there. all right. I didn't uh, like that computer anyway. Yeah. There you go. Uh, and these showers and outflow boundaries creating some storms. So we are talking about some storms popping up right now some lights in the Oklahoma the metro City metro too. area. Yeah, some yeah. of some folks on social media have been saying, "Hey, my power just kind of flickered there for a moment, and uh, now it's uh, it's come back." So here are, here's a close view. Let me show you where we're looking at here, and I'll get back down to street level. Uh, we're looking at central Oklahoma right along the I-35 corridor where we are seeing quite a bit of rainfall. This namely on the north side of Oklahoma City right now. But let me draw something on, uh, and this will give you a kind of an explanation of what's happening. See this little boundary right there? That is swinging through the metro in behind that as showers and storms are developing. That is what we call an outflow boundary from storms that were in Kansas. So that moves through Oklahoma City and it looks like everybody in the metro will get rain here in the next little bit. Guthrie, you got a storm moving in. Most of the lightning back towards Crescent, Mool Hall, I-35. If you're traveling north from Edmond, you're going to see that rainfall move through and it's going to be heavy. So here's that boundary. You see it? Watch what happens right behind that. Just kind of a blossoming, a developing of storms. So in the Bethany, uh, I expect a new storm to develop around Bethany here in the next little bit up towards uh, Lake Overholzer. In fact, there it is developing right there uh, along county line. And I do expect this in the central Oklahoma City, probably a storm in the metro in about 30 minutes from right now. Meantime, Edmond getting some heavy rainfall up to a half an inch of rain possible with ponding on area roads. That is for the next hour or so. I think by the time the morning commute, we'll probably start to dry some of this out. Scattered storms, though, continue into the weekend. Hot and humid today. And then as we move into next week, could be a touch cooler. So right now it's 78. Very, very muggy outside. Going to have an increase of wind as that boundary moves through from the north and from the west. It will later on turn back to south later today. 75 in Edmond right now, 77 in Guthrie. Kingfisher at 70 degrees. Here in Moore, Oklahoma, Beautiful for the morning, yeah, for the most part. There could be some storms. It's going to take a little bit to really clear out. But by 4 o'clock, 40% chance of storms at 96. Going to be a very muggy afternoon in Oklahoma City. 96 degrees today, feeling like it's up over 100 degrees. 102 in Hobart, 100 in Clinton, 102 in Lawton. Checking the next three days, 75 tonight, 97 tomorrow, 40% chance of rain the next three days around here. We keep the storms going into the weekend, and most of this is going to be in the nighttime hours, in the early morning hours. Your day, hot and muggy, but you go outside and you'll feel like it's been raining on you with as thick and juicy as the moisture is outside. One way to describe it. 90 on Wednesday and Thursday of next week, and it stays up around 90 through mid-next week. All right, tracking these storms out, Dan. We've seen some lightning outside. We'll keep watching these storms move through. 517 now. We'll go back to you.